This trip that we just completed was to Corkscrew Swamp. It's a bird sanctuary owned by Audubon. And they have a two and a half mile boardwalk that you're able to experience. And we were able to see over 30 species of birds at that location, plus other wildlife. And you're even able to ask for a naturalist to guide your trip, your experience, your adventure, if you will, on that boardwalk. And we had a fabulous one, Sally Stein. She kept us busy for over three hours checking out all sorts of things. We learned about not only the wildlife, but the vegetation, the history of the park, the trees, the swamp, the habitat, how the drought affects the wildlife and the plants, as well as when rainy season happens. From there, we went to waterfront shorebird destination being Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. And that's located on Sanibel Island. There we took a tram ride, again led by a fantastic field guide naturalist. Her name was Olga and she entertained us for 90 minutes of fun learning. What a great thing to do to have fun and learn a lot of information, plus being able to see again lots of wildlife all around you. We were seeing three reddish egrets. Now reddish egrets are really rare, so to see three of them on one trip, that's special. So this year, Manatee Audubon is really focused on having many, many opportunities to go experience outdoors, nature specifically. So we call them birding adventures. You can do the morning ones that are half day, or you can do the full day ones. And if you're really adventuresome, you can go to do overnight ones. Our theme this year is to focus on places, destinations with, which have been designated on the Great Florida Birding Trail. And those are special places that for some reason either have a wide variety of birds or really hard to find species. So there are over 40 trips planned for this season. You better get going though because we've already cruised through a bunch of them. Our next overnight trip is going to be to Merritt Island National Wildlife Reserve near Jacksonville. And that is a trip where you're gonna see, again, a lot of shorebirds. And what's really good is the timing is it's just two days before the start of the Space Coast Birding Festival. That is America's biggest birding festival. So you don't wanna miss that one. You need to go to manatiaudubon.org on our website and check us out.